How's it going, everybody? Say we're checking out Gojira. Our time is now. Yeah, I can't tell you how long I've been wanting to say that, man. I mean, Gojira is like one of my top bands of all time. Been listening to them for years. I'm literally in a Facebook group called Gojira Whale Posting. I mean, we just, you know, shit post about Gojira stuff and just other random memes, things like that. Uh, you know, different music discussions too. Super nice people, awesome community. Couldn't recommend it enough. So, you know, if you're on Facebook a lot, I recommend joining it. But, um... Yeah, I mean, honestly, the only album from Gojira that I thought was just kind of all right was Fortitude. Um, and I guess Magma kind of in that, but like Magma, I still really liked. Fortitude, I thought was all right. I, you know, it's definitely a departure from their older sound, which, you know, for me, being someone that absolutely loves their older sound is, you know, kind of a heartbreak. But also, I didn't think it's that bad of an album. It's, it's just different. And they're taking a different approach. It is a lot more approachable for people who aren't familiar with Gojira. They're, you know, trying to get into heavier styles of metal and stuff. Like, I could show a lot of the songs off of Fortitude to somebody that's not metalhead at all. And they'd probably see a little bit more of the appeal to it. I'll put it that way. But, um, yeah, I'm really curious to hear what this sounds like. I'm assuming it's probably going to have a lot of Fortitude elements thrown in. But, um, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Oh, that's instantly very fortunate. Tapping. This reminds me of Sphinx. Carved in limestone. <laughs> That could actually work. Production's weird.
right. And that is the end. Gojira, our time is now. Yeah, I thought the track was all right. Um, it pretty much just sounded like a continuation of Sphinx, uh, which is off of 4-2. It kind of sounded like Sphinx 2 Electric Boogaloo and just kind of went with it. Um, I mean, you know, it sounded fine. Uh, it, it just had that melody that was really similar to Sphinx and, you know, the riff and everything. Um, but the one thing that really caught me off guard is that guitar solo. I was like, they're doing solo still? I was like, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't, I don't have an issue with that. Um, I like a decent guitar solo. I thought it was good. It fit the song, you know. It definitely has more of that, like, standard kind of radio rock feel to it. But um, that's kind of a theme that I've been noticing with a lot of Fortitude. And, um, you know, they're mellowing out. They're getting older. You know, like, most bands do kind of mellow out at least a little bit once they kind of, you know, have released so many albums. Like, how long can you keep up that pace of just being brutal and just, ah, uh, you know. But, uh, I don't know. Like, nonetheless, I thought it was a decent track. Um, I wouldn't say it's anything necessarily to write home about. The one thing that I do have an issue with, actually, um, aside from the fact that it really just sounds like a continuation of Sphinx, is um, the production was a little weird. It, I don't know, like the vocals sound a little odd to me. And uh, so the drums. I don't know, the drums sound like there was some noises like with the cymbal work and everything that were sticking out a little bit more than usual. Or, I don't know, maybe maybe it's just my ears, maybe it's just how I was listening to it. Um, it, it just sounded a little bit different. But overall, I mean, yeah, it, it wasn't too bad of a track. It'll definitely go into my rotation, I'll listen to it. Um, and plus, it's going to be in the new NHL 2023 game. Uh, so, you know, they're going to try and kind of hit the mainstream, go out there. Which, to be fair, I think that's going to pay off dividends for the band. You know, kind of hitting it off into different um, audiences and stuff. Because, you know, like, I don't imagine everybody that plays the NHL games is a metalhead. I know there's definitely some overlap because, like, uh, the Detroit Red Wings, they have a, like, long history of playing uh, metal, like, for the intros when they walk out to go for their game. And, um, you know, I think that's really sick. So there is some overlap with metal and hockey. But other than that, I'm really excited for people to, you know, find the band, discover them for the first time. Be like, oh, you know what? Maybe I should check out more. They may end up hating the rest of the, the discography, which, you know, would suck. But, uh, you know, it's always possible. But you might get some people that are absolutely loving it. And then they found their new favorite band. That's how I found it out. Because I found Gojira by accident. And it is the happiest accent I have ever made. Oh my gosh. Um, that, that's not terrible. I, oh my gosh, I just realized what I said. Um, you know what? Let's just not take that out of context, actually. Um, but uh, yeah, what would you guys think about this track? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Leave a comment down below. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And as always, you guys take it easy.